Hey guys, this is Vikas and this time we'll be doing an unusual experiment. Uh, this is a solar bottle and as you can see that it has solar in it so it will be powered by sun. And this is a, a MIT project and this is not my own and MIT in America. And for that you will be requiring a 2.5 liter cl uh, bottle, plastic bottle. Then something to hook, hook it on and onto their roof. This is the base and this is uh, made of steel right now and you will need some scissors, uh, an epoxy sealant over here, I am using M seal and a marker also you will needing, you'll be needing a bleach that is the fabric bleach. Okay. So the idea is that you got to pour filtered water inside the, inside the bottle and this will provide a source of refraction for the sunlight and you, you will be adding the bleach so that this is a this is for longer use for example for four to five years and so that the mold doesn't grow so you add bleach and scissors and markers are for making measurements and this epoxy sealant would be used to make it waterproof okay so so the first thing is about the base and this i have isolated from the oil can which is used for transportation of oil in India. Uh, I have removed the base. Uh, so the base largely depends upon what kind of uh, roof you, ha you have. I am using it for experimental purposes. So it will be a temporary. So I have used this. But you can also use the, the galvanized iron steel that has been used for uh, roofing in most, most part of the world. This is what we will be using. So the next step is to measure the circumference of, of, this, of this bottle over here and uh, for that you have to use a thread to measure the circumference and then by the f by applying the mathematical formula you can get the radius and just for your difference you could just cut the, the circle for your reference and cut another circle this is uh, the, the circumference for this was uh, 33 centimeters and the radius comes to around 5.3 over here so you got to cut one piece which is 5.3 which has a radius of 5.3 and the other which has a centimeter less that is of 4.3 okay so like this okay and just make your measurements onto the onto the base so you can see the measurement of the base you see so already made the measurements so what we'll do is we'll just give the cut to the inner inner side of the circle and just remove this whole part by using a scissor okay so we have made the cuts over here and you can see the one centimeter part which I was talking about actually goes up like this okay just to zoom in see so this will be fitting in like this and it will be the holder for the for the bottle okay okay so this has gone inside you can see and the actual bottle looks like this and one one third part of the bottle should be pointing towards the sun and two third of the rest should be should act as your bulb so this is loose right now so what we'll do is we'll just apply some epoxy sealant over here and be careful while you are using the the edges are quite sharp over here and over here as well so we'll just apply some rubber sealant and uh, and fix it up okay so we have just applied the epoxy sealant over here you can see and let it just stand by for some time so that the the base sticks to the bottle okay when this is done just pour in the water and uh, just add 10 ml of bleach for one liter for so this is a 2.25 liter bottle so it will be requiring almost around 22 ml then just close the bottle and apply some rubber sealant over the 
over the cap as well over here okay so we'll just do it now and then we'll be going to our field to my ancestral home to install and see the results okay so here I have filled in the bottle over here and you can see that it is fairly transparent and uh, actually you got to boil the water first so as to kill all the bacteria and the fungi if you are using a tap water if you are using a bislery or a mineral water then packaged mineral water then it is fine so the last step would be to just I have added the bleach as well and the last step is to seal the the cap of the bottle ok so we will be doing it now has been done ok here is a short demonstration of what what will be going on for example this is your sun and the light just falls on this over here you can see the base is actually glowing and it would be visible once we are on the site ok so let's just do it see see the glow so this is my ancestral home and uh, it's a nice surrounding actually let's zoom into the roof to see the mud plates which are placed there as a roof and we'll be removing one of them and placing our solar bottle so it begins to actually acts as a source of light okay so we are at our ancestral home and uh, see and light coming in actually is from our solar bulb the solar bottle okay so and we have installed it over here you can see let's zoom in and see okay it's glowing like a light bulb a CFL bulb actually and uh, we'll just check out the luminometer so I have a luminometer installed lux meter okay so you can see the value that is uh, 43 it's around 40 43 lux so I think there are clouds so it's decreasing we'll show you the difference actually and uh, let's see and this is my ankle uh, lava purna attack purna bankar see how pitch dark it is right now and uh, open kara and see the difference is actually significant so that's our solar bulb and I hope you find this useful and thank you bye bye so it is worth mentioning that uh, you should first identify the vulnerable areas inside your structure where the, where puncturing the ceiling could have could lead to a structural issue so you should either refer or make a blueprint or just walk around your house to evaluate the vulnerable areas and where this bottle cannot be installed and which cannot be compromised okay and for uh, having a decent glow in your house you you will need multiple such bottles in in a row so just take care of the structural issues okay so the first and the most obvious drawback of this method is that it doesn't work at night it works only on a clear day where there is uh, ample sunshine and but this should not desist you from just trying it out and just make sure you make your children aware about the solar power 